Hey there, thanks for joining me. I think if you're here, you are wondering how you can generate tasks from a template in Airtable, and we're gonna cover just that. My name is Andrew, and I am a co-founder at Simple Stack. And uh, today, we're gonna just jump right into to how to do this. So I'm gonna share my, my screen. And um, let's let's talk through what we're looking at here. This is a lightweight sales CRM that has a few tables. Those are the tabs that you see there that track information like companies, contacts, and deals. Okay, we are going to focus primarily on on this table that's called pipeline sales. And what we want to do is we want to say when a deal goes to closed one then we wanna generate some of the onboarding uh, or project management tasks for that deal. Now, this could be applicable to anything, whether it's, whether it's creating tasks for a project or uh, generating lists of records for different things, okay? It doesn't have to be sales or CRM related. This is just a good example for you to learn how to set it up. And so the first thing that we're going to need to do, we already have the stage. So we know our trigger is going to be when something is marked as close one. We have two tables we need to create. Table number one is going to be our task template. Okay, and this is going to have just a list of tasks that we want to generate every time a deal moves to close one. So we've got uh, three tasks should be uh, enough to learn this. Um, and the other thing that we need to do is to create a tasks table. So let's do that. And the task table is going to have a task name, which will create a write in field here. This is what the automation will put the task name here. And it's also going to be connected to a deal. So we're going to use something that is called a linked record field. If you don't know what that is, you can see other videos that, that I've uh, put out about that. It's basically connecting two tabs or tables information together. Okay. So we're going to go to the pipeline here. All right, and then you always want this, the very first column, which are called fields in the Airtable, um, the, it is called a primary key field, and uh, you always want it to be unique. And so one of the things you can do when you're doing something like this, uh, because the task name isn't going to be unique, because as we generate this for multiple deals, they'll have the same tasks, right? So what you actually want to do in a situation like this is um, use a concatenation formula, which allows you to put field, uh, two different fields information together. So um, a good way to do that in this case would be to say, I'm going to take the task name, give it a little bit of a, a bar, and then um, we're going to take the deal name. Okay. So what you'll be left with is here's an example and when you do a linked record this is looking at all the deals right okay so what you're left with is this unique um this unique name okay And uh, so it does look kind of strange, though, <laughs> because they use that that bar um, in the uh, name of that deal. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that. Use a hyphen so that we can tell the difference. Okay. So when these get created, that's what the name is going to be. And uh, we've got all of the things we need to move on to the automation step. So an automation can be used to automate notifications, integrate other tools. In this case, we're just using it to go find the, the tasks in the template and to create them here in the task table. Um, so let's jump into it. We're going to get to it, go to the automation panel right here. 
And remember, our trigger is going to be when a record on the pipeline table moves to a stage that is closed one. Okay. So when this happens, it will generate the, the tasks. Okay. One important thing to know about automations is that it's not going to happen retroactively. So all of the deals, for instance, that are already marked as closed one are not going to automatically generate tasks. Um, this is going to be looking for when it happens. Um, and I'll show you a trick for that if you want to be able to sort of back create um, the, the records, but still use the automation. There's a quick little trick. Uh, we're going to choose the record to test on. So it's going to look at an existing one that is marked as closed one, and we've got it here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use a step that's called a find records step. Finding records is just that. You can find records. And the very first thing you do is tell it, what table do you want to find records on? In this case, we want to do it on the tasks template table. Um, and we're just going to find all of the records in our view. So if we test that action, it'll bring up task one, two, and three. Those are the records that exist. And now we're going to click into here, and we're going to select what's called a repeating group. If you've ever done any coding, you've kind of heard a, a phrase that's called a loop. Um, and really what that is is, is just a um, repeating of steps over and over again until a list of items is complete. And that's what this repeating group is that same thing. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say, we want you to create a record for each record you found in the task table, right? So we're going to select the found records as an input list. Okay. So you remember when we found the records here initially, came back with three results. Those three results are going to get pushed into this, this group. And then it's going to repeat whatever we tell it to do, in this case, three times. But if it found 10 records, it would repeat it 10 times. Well, what we're going to tell it to do is to create a record. And we need to tell it where we want to create the record, which is that tasks table. And then we can choose the fields that exist on that task table, which are just two, the task name and the deal. So we want the task name to be the current item in the list. So imagine you have a, a a list with three items on it. What we're saying is take that, the, the current item that you're on, because you're going to go through all of them, and give us that name into the task, OK? Because that's the name of the first task. But the deal, we don't have to do the current item. Remember, because the initial trigger was when a deal is marked as closed one. One of our sources is that trigger step. So if I click on this, um, we can use the record ID or name of the, the deal that triggered this to start with. And that will assign that deal, that task that we're creating. Okay, And this is just going to repeat until the list is complete. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on now. As a general practice, you probably want to test your automations, but for the purpose of, of what we're doing here, we're not going to do that. So you'll see we don't have anything in our task table yet. Um, but if we were to move one of these deals to closed one, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, that automation is going to run. And here you'll see it's generating the tasks just like we wanted, and it's associating it to the deal. Now, why is it important to use a linked record field in this case? Well, you'll see that I have deal on this side, and a linked record field also gives me tasks on the other side. OK? And so for instance, making this a more usable view, you could group this by the deal. OK? And you could hide this deal field and you see just the task name and your uh, deal information. So as more deals close, you have a nice organized list of tasks that are running here. Okay, 
So you can see that again. Um, and this is starting to look pretty good for, for managing tasks. Now, of course, you would probably have an assignee field and some other things like due dates and all of that. Um, but we will cover that in a future video. So that's how you generate a task. Now, for all the deals that are already closed one, what do you do? Well, all you have to do is toggle the, the closed one. So, so this QFlux was closed already. So I can just give it any value, say follow up and then put it back into closed one, and that will generate the tasks, okay? So that's the trick for anything that you have that already, uh, that you would need to sort of back backfill information on, okay? So uh, that's how to generate records, tasks, uh, really anything from a template in Airtable. And if you're newer to automations, um, this is a great way to, to start and sort of dip your toe into a slightly more in, uh, adv advanced type of automation. So I hope you have fun with it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have questions, feel free to uh, contact us directly at SimpleStack or drop them in the, the comments section. That's it for now, and I will see you soon.